Hey, welcome back. Okay, it's a terrific Tuesday. It's uh, maybe a tantric Tuesday. I, I almost thought we were going to have Dr. Judith Kuriansky here because I saw her book on my desk, but she's not. Russell Jones is, and uh, we kick off hour two with the literal powerhouse of a man. Uh, thank you for joining us, Russell. Sorry and uh, I heard you this morning um, on the air with uh, Frankie Five Burrows, his, his other character on the Joe Piscopo show. Today he's Frank Morano, managing editor on Liquid Lunch. But uh, it was really tough to get the full effect of someone tearing a deck of cards in half um, on radio. You okay. know what I mean? Yes, I'm sir. driving in the car and I'm like, this sounds great. Right. But, um, Supposedly you can do it. Uh, Russell Jones is also uh, the author of Sick and Tired of Being Sick and Tired. Uh, and I could have wrote that title for you because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I mean? And I'm sick and tired of almost everything. <laughs> the book me? was, yes, sir. So the book came about, uh, this is 20 years since my last book. And uh, somebody said, well, you're 65 years old. That was last year. And they said, you know, you look like you're in great shape. And I said, well, I'm, you know, some days I feel like I'm 40. Some days I feel like I'm 65. And so the guy said, look, I really encourage you to write this because there's so many people out there. There's so much information out there today. And people are so scattered and so frustrated. So they said, well, what works for you? So basically, this is what works for me. But it's not just exercise and it's not just diet. It's a mindset, and uh, so that's what I, I try to convey in the book. I, I think it's kind of effective, but it's way different than going to the gym. It's not like a life coach thing. Like you, you, uh, you're kind of trying to change people's philosophy or approach uh, yeah. at life, not just like running on the elliptical machine. I see a million fat guys I know on the elliptical machine all the time, and they're pretty much the same weight, plus minus 10 pounds, 15 pounds over 20 years, they're all still big. And they're drinking diet soda too. Yeah, drinking yeah. diet coke like it's their job. Yeah. Uh, on the elliptical with the headband on and everything, they, uh, same yeah, size. I, I try to bust through all that. Uh, I think the, the paradigm, and that, that was one of the messages I was trying to get across this morning, was that the, the message is that the way we exercise in America is so inefficient time-wise effectiveness wise and there are simple things we can do anywhere anytime can you give me a couple i mean look at me <laughs> oh, sure. you know, i'm almost you your age and i'm i'm, I'm out now. of shape i drink alcohol every day on liquid lunch oh is that i have to consume information my uh, my mental state is not good that's for sure uh, yeah yeah we have a program exactly for you you do yeah yeah is there so, any shipping and handling no, <laughs> no that's good. Do we have a program for you so this is this is where it all begins. On, if you see on the cover of the book, there's a stack of bricks, right? Yeah, take a look at the cover of the book, folks, if we could put okay. that up. Oh, you can uh, see it? Yeah, we'll it? put the photo up of the book. See, there's a stack of bricks that looks like you breaking. Exactly. Right. So they said, uh, we we're trying to figure out the name. We got the name of the book, but now we needed uh, the cover for the book. So this is a picture of me a number of years ago in front of a few thousand people. And I'm breaking a stack of bricks. So I said, well, gee, just on first glance, it kind of makes sense. Some guy's sick and tired, and he's lashing out. He's kicking the, the door or the dog or something like that. And, and, and he's breaking a stack. This guy's breaking a stack of bricks. But the back story is, a few years ago, I was visiting some friends down the Jersey Shore. And long story short, I met a guy and from California. And he said, look, I need some help tonight. I was 39 years old at the time, which was a few years ago. He said, I need some help tonight. I'm doing a show for some kids down in Atlantic City, and I need somebody to help me break some bricks because I'm not feeling well. And so uh, I said, look, you got the wrong guy. I said, basically, I'm an old basketball player. Keyword there being old. Even at 39, I, didn't, I had never done anything martial artsy or anything in my life. Next thing we know, we're down by Atlantic City. We go down to Garden State Parkway, walk into this room, two big stacks of bricks on either side of the stage. And the guy says, this stack over here is yours, all right? And he's teaching me how to break while we're driving. And we're arguing back and forth and going, you're crazy. I can't do that. Well, when we get in, you know, you like to try things out first before you're in front of a big audience. No warm-ups. We don't have enough bricks. So we had a warm-up. We come out, room packed full of people, lights are flashing, music's cranking, and they did a countdown. And it was from 10 down to 1. And, you know, I was all jacked up. Like, I heard you talking about sports before. I was like at a sporting event. I'm pumped up. I'm going to do this. 10! All the excitement just went right out of me. And I was filled with fear. 
like Anxiety. deep down in your gut fear. I prayed like I never prayed before. There was in an urgency. Seconds. Yes, it was, but it was like one of those moments of truth where everything like yep. stopped. And I jumped up, I hit that stack of bricks. They went flying everywhere. I'd never done it. I was afraid I was going to break my arm. <laughs> it was just the craziest thing. The way you held the F on the they went flying. I got a little nervous there. <laughs> they did. <laughs> I thought you were going to curse. No, no, moment, no. But, uh, they, I would so, imagine. Uh, it's the adrenaline, but it, but it turned, right? It was the adrenaline, but too, it was, you know, people, it's cliche. People talk about having breakthroughs in their <clears> life. <throat> well, this was a real breakthrough because... I overcame the fear of the moment. That was your moment of truth, where right, you were like, right. well, you're either going to get humiliated in front of all these people and snap your arm in half, or you're going to you're gonna dig down deep like you used to do in peewee football and take one more snap and run the guy over, and then you... But people, it's cliche. People talk about having breakthroughs in their <clears> life. <throat> well, this was a real breakthrough because I overcame the fear of the moment. That was your moment of truth, where right, you were like, right. well, you're either going to get humiliated in front of all these people and snap your arm in half, or you're gonna you're gonna dig down deep like you used to do in Pee Wee football and take one more snap and run the guy over and then you boom you break it you're like ah oh, I could do it it's amazing is that like the moment of inertia Faith that you're fear. trying to get people to recognize in their life like that's the that's the it moment it's now grab hit. that and run with it right so we're worried about musculoskeletal we're worried about I'm not our worried gut. about that as you oh, can see okay. But what controls our muscular system and skeletal system is our nervous system, and what controls our nervous system is our minds. So if we don't start out straight with our heads, get our heads straight, whatever has been going on, whatever our baggage is and everything, then we can't train right. We so, can't focus. So, Russell, this book, it, you don't have to be a gym rat to benefit from the strategies that are in this book, right? A casual totally. or maybe even less than religious uh, athlete can, uh, can benefit from some of the strategies here? Exactly. And that's, you know, I, I'm not a gym rat. I'm not an A-type personality. I don't lead this, you know, super strong structured life with goals. I mean, I have goals, but I'm not, I'm not a, uh, what do they call those people that are so driven? Obsessive compulsive. Obsessive, right, exactly. See, but you, you've you got. stuff like this? <laughs> uh, not in front of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but Russell, so you've got a, actually a special offer for our viewers in terms of how they can read this book today, right? Exactly. We have a free, today through Amazon, free Kindle download for 24 hours. So it ends at the end of uh, today, Tuesday. So if they yeah. want to read the book for free, just go to Amazon and download the Kindle edition of the book. But today only. They've got to act yep. now. Yep, yep. Uh, and now I, I'm dying to ask, what are these playing cards doing here? Okay, so um, the next question was then, all right, you know, when we start thinking about things we can and can't do, like have you ever ripped a deck of cards in half before? I have not, but I'm going to right now. Okay. Right in front well, of your very eyes. Right. Okay. So there's a couple of different techniques. But again, mentally... When you feel these cards, it's going to feel like, oh, Have you ever ri goodness. ripped a book in half? Uh, not officially. But you never tried one? Not really. Okay. All right. I've seen, to. like, magicians do this thing. But. Oh, no, no. There's okay. no well, magic magic the cards, trick. I'm maybe saying, maybe is we'll this a magic way. trick? No, there's no magic. Okay. So, I mean, I have two decks, but I, if you want to try without instruction, that's fine. No, no, no. I need instruction. Okay. So. I, for one, would like to see John try without instruction first. You go out and grab them. Mm hmm Now, a couple of different techniques. One is to... Twist them to start it, but either way, you're going to have to shift your grip, hold this as tight as you can, and then you're just going to tear. Sorry. So it's here. a leverage move. From here. Yeah. Got it. Uh, okay. Now, it can be painful, so be careful. Keep in mind that I have to sit next to this guy <laughs> five days a week, two hours a day. If you want to know about painful, my friend, this card, can, this deck of cards can do nothing Keep to in me. mind I have to get paid by this guy. <laughs> oh, all of that all work. Right, and exactly. you want to talk about right, so just let me see that I have a good grip. Uh, you want one hand. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm righty. Okay. So I would, for me personally, I like holding it flat. You don't want to squeeze it. You Got want it. to hold it flat. Got it. All right. And then you're just going to take it and With my right. Twist. I'm going to twist your with left. my right. I twist with my left. I'm right-handed, I, but I hold with my right. But the key is, one of the keys is to hold as tight as you can All right. with I'm the right go, hand. I'm going to go with the right. So you're okay. talking about there, yep. right? That's fine. Now you said I could fold it back a little bit yeah, first. Sure. Yeah, right. And then this is exciting. Look at this. He's you gonna, want he's my hands gonna do up this. Don't think, this. just be the cards. This is good. Don't think, just be the cards. Don't look the at the cards. bottom card. Look at the top card. Don't think, just be the cards. No. All right, show, show him how it's done. Give me the real deck. Russell, show him how it's done. Look, you got it. You got it. 
going a little bit. Nah, it looks <laughs> a like little bit. He doesn't like the kid at the fair. I hit yeah, the thing, exactly. the ball went. Yeah, yeah, let's try this. Let me, let me start. Looks like you've slightly I could have it. slightly injured myself there. Hold oh, on a second. Okay, this is the trick deck he gave me. Hold on, hold on. All right, now let's see you take it home. Grab one side. Hold on, I'm still so plugged in. For those of you just tuning in, Russell has loosened it. John is leaving. He said to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted. I thought you were giving me homework. I thought you wanted me to. You're uh, huge. No, 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 no. You told me to take it I'm home. Sorry. I take it home. Let's take, let's crazy? finish the job. Let's okay. finish the job. We'll, we'll do a little teamwork here. It's still not going to be easy. There you go. No, there oh, you go. You dead. feeling it? Yeah, I almost got it. It's, you know, it's hurting my thumb on that hand there. A little arthritis. Holding your breath. This is not underwater swimming. Nah. Almost, almost. Don't give up. Don't give up. Hold on to this side. Don't let it Hold go. Hold on to this side. Don't let it go. Okay. Come on. Drive into it. They like getting all sweaty. Drive into it. Come on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah. 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 I tried. I did it. All right. There we so go. The boat is really sweat the here. Car, I usually drink car. here, but. Uh, Exactly. No, I, I get it. I noticed you had to go below your waist to get the to right, get it sometimes, started. Sometimes I do, I admit, but I'm only sitting down, so maybe I don't have to do it when I'm standing <laughs> up. you got to pick up the book, Sick and Tired of Being Sick and Tired. If you're an e-reader or you want the electronic version, you can get it for free today. Go to Amazon.com. Russell, you got to come back and break some bricks in the future. All right. We just want to start a community of people that are not being deceived that can uh, really get it going. All right. All right. Now, you're watching Liquid Lunch, where um, he ripped the deck of cards for me, and I still couldn't finish them. And uh, next time, you bring me the deck that's 99% ripped, and then pull right. it out of the box like it's new, and then I go like He's this. He's broken a couple of glasses here, though. That's that right. is true. I want to thank right. uh, Russell Jones for joining us, and we'll have him back, back for some more amazing human strength tricks. And uh, no trick coming up right after this. Stay tuned to Liquid Lunch.